This is a Mojave GHI, and this is the female that laid eggs 57 days ago. You know what that means. We're about to cut the clutch, and she was bred to a banana GHI, which means that there's a Lelic stuff going on. Now, I'm gonna talk about what a Lelic means after we cut this clutch, but I tell you what, it's a banger, and I cannot wait to see what babies are in here, so wish me luck. Let's go cut some eggs. All right, so on to the egg cutting. Now, again, because it's a Lelic animal, you have everything is gonna either be a GHI or it's gonna be a Mojave. There can't be any normal stuff in there. And anything that lines up with that GHI on the banana side will either get a Super GHI or another GHI Mojave. We could also get banana Mojaves, banana GHIs, or combinations thereof. We have seven eggs. This egg looks goofy as could be. It's like a longer egg that kind of fuzzed out. I think there's still going to be a baby in it. Let's start with that egg. And I'll be honest with you, I'm hoping for is either a banana Super GHI or a banana GHI Mojave. That's what I'm really shooting for. But hey, we've got seven eggs. Let's see what we've got. Jumping into egg number one. All right, and guys, down in the comments, you can comment each egg, what you think is gonna be inside before we cut it, and then we'll see if you're right about that, right? So let's go ahead, just keep on cutting, keep on cutting. Ooh, right off the rip, what we got? Okay, so we got a banana GHI in here. Again, it's a very small animal because of the egg being wonky, right? But it's definitely, again, it's gotta be a GHI. It's gotta be a Mojave. It is a banana. So it's not a banana Mojave. So it has to be a banana GHI or a combination thereof. So it looks like just a normal banana GHI. Little tiny little monkey. Now we get into the bigger eggs and let's see what we have. Again, six eggs to go. Please let me get a couple combos that are absolutely amazing. This clutch I've been waiting for for literally the last two months and really months before that when we were breeding it. So I'm pretty excited about it. Let's go ahead and do this one. Again, in the comments, let me know what you think we're gonna hit with this egg. And again, in those comments, it's bragging rights, right? If you call it, you can brag about it. All right, egg number two. What do we have? Ooh, what do we have? What do we have? Let's see, it's a little bit flipped upside down right now. So it's a little hard to tell. I'm gonna try to just see if I can't see the top side of this. We hit the GHI Mojave banana. That's right, that was one of our, I wanted the banana GHI Mojave or the banana super GHI. And we hit the banana GHI Mojave. Again, it's flipped upside down so you can't see it really well, but I could definitely see as I was going, that is absolutely amazing. I am so excited. And we still have five eggs to go. That is incredible. So let's just keep going. Guess down below what the next egg will be. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that was so freaking awesome, man. I am so excited. This one, again, is flipped upside down a little bit. Kind of hard to see, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. And that happens sometimes with these things. They'll just kind of flip upside down a little bit. It looks like another one. It looks like another banana GHI Mojave. It looks like we had two of them, guys. That is absolutely incredible. Wow, oh my God, we got, <laughs> you guys were commenting down below and you got that twice in a row. You're doing pretty good. We've got four eggs. I'm gonna say the next egg's gonna be a banana GHI Mojave. I doubt if that's gonna happen, but let's go ahead and see what it is. Here we go. What do we have, what do we have, what do we have? Get the heck out of here. This is a banana GHI Mojave. That's three in a row, people. Oh my gosh, what a trip. Three banana GHI Mojaves. That is outrageous, and we have three eggs to go. Let's, uh, I don't even know what to do now. Let's just keep cutting. Again, down in the comments, guys, let's go. If it, the person says GHI Mojave banana, you're probably gonna get it right again because maybe the whole clutch will be this way. Let's see, oh, we got a darker animal. We didn't hit the banana in this one. And it looks like we have just a Mojave in this one. So no Mojave, GHI, anything like that. But again, everything has to be Mojave. Everything has to be GHI. So it's just a normal Mojave. Two eggs to go. Again, keep those comments coming. Let's see what you got. Let's see how smart your genetics are down there. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, ooh, oh, wait a second. I think this might be the Banana Super GHI. This looks like the Banana Super GHI, which is exactly what we're all for. My gosh, we have crushed it. Three Banana GHI Mojaves, one Banana Super GHI, one egg to go. I mean, at this point, we don't even have to cut this last egg because I'm so happy, right? But let's go ahead and do it. Comment down below what you think it is and let's do it. All right, last egg. You know, I like to end on a bang, but man, it's gonna be hard after all the stuff that we've done already. All right, what do we have here? Looks like it's either a GHI or a Super GHI. Uh, it's hard to sell you, to be totally honest with you, until it hatches out, I know, but it's not a banana. 
I tell you what, guys, that was that was a ripper, man. I am so excited. My gosh, that was incredible. Thank you, and let me uh, know how you did down in the comments. And welcome to the Vlog Reptile Army. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. You guys can do me a favor. Go over to reptilearmy.com. Of course, we have the monitor Lisa here. We have new stuff that's going to drop any day now. We're just waiting on the samples to get here, and then we drop it. We're also going to do a special 4th of July drop as well. So uh, definitely go over to Reptile Army. Join the movement. Be part of the reptile army out there teaching people of course proceeds go to education i'm feeding salt and pepper they look ready let's do this salty you're not supposed to come up yet Ooh. Ooh, salt relax Jeez, here you go pepper one for you and salty pepper no that's each other okay. salty crazy crazy Hey, 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 relax, relax. Can he go back? Can he go? Oh, no, you dropped the chicken. Oh, you gotta get it, Mike. Look at it, you gotta get it. Salt. I'm oh, gonna wait on that one. <laughs> go that way. And I can't. Woo, got it. Man, these guys are so big, so fast. It's amazing. Don't keep gators as pets. Salt. Okay, pepper. Pepper, that's so nice. That's not nice. He's cracking my key. Done. Hey. Podcast room is gonna be lit tonight, guys. So at five o'clock tonight, I actually have Dakota from DBCB Exotics on. That's right, we have a guest that's coming into the house. That's right, five o'clock Eastern time tonight. You do not wanna miss it. We're gonna have a great podcast. You can go over to the Checking In Podcast channel or go in the link in the description. Back to the GHI Mojave, and I'm gonna do my best I could do to explain to you guys what it means to be a Lelic, right? We know that the incomplete dominant stuff makes super forms. We know that homozygous and heterozygous animals like albino and pies work, but we want to talk about allelic animals because they're a little bit special. So the GHI Mojave are of course made up by a Mojave and a GHI, right? The Super Mojave is a blue-eyed leucistic complex. Of course, the Super version of a GHI is a Super GHI. But when you breed the GHI and the Mojave together, basically what happens is that they share the same protein on an allele and they make an allelic looking animal, right? Now the Super versions are basically like double copies of one gene. So when you get into a blue-eyed leucistic, say a Mojave Mojave, you have two copies of the Mojave gene. And the same thing goes with the GHI, right? But in this case, when the Mojave and the GHI react, it basically acts like a super version, but makes an animal that looks completely different. And what I mean by that is that this is just like a super Mojave. When you breed it to say a normal, every baby is gonna be Mojave. Same thing with the GHI. If you breed a super GHI to a normal, you get all GHIs. In this case, when you breed this to a normal, you're gonna get either Mojave's or GHI's. You'll never produce normal. So it basically acts kind of like a super gene with Mojave and GHI. It's a really interesting complex and it can be pretty awesome. And GHI Mojave's aren't the only one. Really the first major allelic animal that came out was a super stripe, which is a specter and a yellow belly. Again, the specter can get super specters. The yellow belly gets the ivory, which is a super, the double copy of that gene. Well, this happens to be all kinds of things. This is a super stripe, but it's also a red stripe, a pinstripe, and a spider ball python. Now, interesting enough, because this is an allelic animal of the specter and the yellow belly, everything that comes out of this breeding is gonna have yellow belly or specter. It can't have normal. But then, of course, the different genes, like the red stripe, the pinstripe, stripe and the spider can get mixed in so you can have all kinds of interesting combinations but all of them have to either be specter or yellow belly and then combinations there of the red stripe pinstripe and spider the same exact thing goes for the puma ball python. It's an absolutely spectacular looking snake. I mean, absolutely wonderful. It is actually a yellow belly, just like the super stripe, but then there's actually a spark gene too, right? So you can get a super spark, you can get a super yellow belly, which is the ivory, and if you breed those together, they're allelic and you produce the puma. This gorgeous monkey is another allelic animal, but it would be called a soul sucker russo, right? So basically the soul sucker russo is actually named by Kevin McCurley, and it's a hidden gene woma and a russo. This also has an incomplete dominant pastel gene in it and makes it absolutely incredible. But much like all the other allelic animals, when you breed this, everything is either gonna be hat russo, which is in the blue-eyed blue cystic complex, or it's gonna be hidden gene woma. So that gives you an idea of how allelics actually work. And that's why we produce some pretty cool animals in this class 
clutch earlier today is because we knew everything had to be either GHI or everything had to be Mojave. And the fact that the male was a banana GHI, and because the male was a GHI banana, that means there could be two copies of the GHI, hence the reason why we got some super GHIs in there. Now, there couldn't be any super Mojaves because there was only one copy of the Mojave in the Mojave GHI. Does that make sense, or did I just confuse you? Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it, and if you learned something, and if I confuse you, ask all the questions you want, I'll try to answer them. It's definitely been a minute since I've taken out Casper, the black-eyed leucistic reticulated python. This was actually produced by Kev McCurley out at NERC. It's one of the very first black-eyed leucistics that ever were produced. I mean, to be honest with you, the white snakes with blue eyes or black eyes are kind of like the holy grail when it comes to reptiles, whether it's the ball pythons, the leucistic Texas rat snakes, and of course, the leucistic reticulated pythons. Now, he's actually pretty old. Now, retics obviously can get 20, 25 foot, but a males oftentimes will stay a little bit lower, and this guy is actually a super phantom, and the phantom gene actually stays a little bit smaller as well, typically. So, nevertheless, he is a beautiful snake, and it's been a long time since I've just had him out and played with him a little bit, and I tell you, that is one spectacular animal. A little update on the Boego Siena. These guys are amazing. Of course, the green-headed cat-eyed snake. Remember when this was a baby? Number one, it was super small compared to now, but also it was like an orangish red color with that green head, but well, what they go through an octogenic color change, just basically meaning that they change from a baby color to an adult color, and that adult color is all green. So this one isn't quite all the way there. The green head still is a little bit more green than the body, but eventually it's gonna be pretty much a solid green snake, and they're just really cool. And they go through that octogenic color change just so that as a baby, they would be kind of in the more flowering area, like the orange flowering and stuff like that. And then as they get older, they'll climb up into the trees where they're just gonna have a lot more greenage, right? So it's an actually great adaptation when it comes to reptiles. And you see a lot of animals having obviously green tree pythons, emerald tree boas to mention a couple. And it's just a change that helps them survive in the wild. So I don't know, let me know in the comments if you guys liked when it was orange or you like now that it's turning its adult color of green. Either way, that head is absolutely phenomenal. And it's so cool to be working with this guy. Ooh. Come on. So this is actually one thing I didn't want to actually show our others that we're trying to feed. Because this actually will try and get him to start getting a little more excited when he sees the ball. Is the a quick look, and you, see, you notice how he's not he's not really coming chasing after it. So I want to take it away. Keep showing him. Show him the ball. There we go. And there's a, and that bite is what I'm looking for. I want him to I want him to really come after it. And getting him really really excited about it is really part of the key. So it's, sometimes you have to take the ball away from him. Don't just sit there and be like. No, food? No, food. You gotta take it away. They got they can't see the ball all the time. It's just and sometimes being a little erratic helps sort of solidify the training overall. Good boy. I want you to come running out though. Yeah. Let's see if we can actually get this. He says, man, I'm so little still, man. I'm trying to trying to figure things out. Alright, alright, alright. You you know what? On the ledge, I'll take that. You just wanted the ball. You don't even care about the food, do you? Ah, there you go. Good one. Good one. I can't wait till these babies actually hatch out of the egg. It's gonna be an absolute banger. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Right here is a playlist of me cutting eggs and baby snakes like crazy. Over on this side, you could also hit that subscription button. It would mean the world to me. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.